case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1987, the Supreme Court case National Labor Relations Board v's United Food and Commercial Workers Union, Local 23 revolved around the principle that courts cannot review the general counsel's dismissal of a labor case due to an informal settlement agreement under federal labor laws. This dispute arose when the United Food Workers accused Charlie Brothers, Inc. and the United Steel Workers Union of unfair labor practices by bargaining for and executing a collective bargaining agreement in a store where the steel workers did not represent a majority of the employees. Following an investigation, the regional director of the National Labor Relations Board entered settlement negotiations. While an agreement was reached, the charging party, United Food Workers, refused to join. The general counsel dismissed the charges, sustaining the settlement. The United Food Workers then sought judicial review from the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit. Ultimately, the Supreme Court ruled that the dismissal of the labor case due to an informal settlement agreement was not subject to judicial review. The Court of Appeals lacked jurisdiction to hear the case under both the National Labor Relations Act, NLRA, and the Administrative Procedure Act, APA, and the case was dismissed due to a lack of subject matter jurisdiction. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.